Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a first impression video of the Affinity palette from Certify. And this is how it looks from the outside. It has a very very nice sleek and white um, packaging packaging and it says here as with any journey who you travel with can be more important than your destination and I think that is so so true anyway so I really like this and this is how it looks like from the inside and it is obviously a very very uh, warm palette that is sort of into the sunset kind of a thing and it's all mattes so uh, I'm very excited to try this out I have all of the other certified palettes as well and um, I I do like the formula. We'll, we'll see how it works. Anyway, um, I'm not so much into the all matte looks, uh, but for the sake of using as many colors as possible in this video, I'm going to do in an all matte look. And I think I want to concentrate on just the purples here today, uh, because I don't know, I just feel like it. So I'm just going to probably use like these these colors and this one like these three and maybe these three so we shall see uh, let's go with the flow and we're gonna zoom in and go right into it so I'm going to start out just by uh, protecting my under eye area a little bit and then we'll be ready to go um, I'm not really sure I, I would have loved to do a cut crease or half a cut crease but I do believe that it looks so much nicer with shimmers to do that so we'll see but probably probably I won't anyway okay I think we're ready to go so what are we gonna do I think I want to keep the the eye area above the crease I want to keep that in those cool tones those here and then the the lid space I'm maybe gonna do the warm tones I think that might be a nice idea what do you think <laughs> okay so let's let's just try that okay first of all I'm going to use the shade Lubna which is this one and I'm going to use that sort of as a transition shade and I'm just going to go slightly like very light-handed anyway because um, these these shadows are usually pretty pigmented so I'm just placing this up here like all around the lid and then I just blend it out towards the top but I'm really trying to just keep it up here because if I whoa this is so creasing here I, I used a new concealer and maybe I shouldn't have done that for a first impression video <laughs> anyway just trying out different stuff all right so um, I'm really keeping it up here because I do not want this other area the other area of my eye to be set already with eyeshadow so I'm just really keeping it up here and just blending it out towards the top Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna leave it with for now. And now I'm gonna go into this shade here. It's called Sana. By the way, I find it a little bit distracting that they did this, this framework here that is sort of sparkly. And I find it a bit distracting. Like to, it's hard for me to read the names really, especially in the studio lighting. But um, okay, so that's, that's not so important. Anyway, so I'm going to use uh, this shade right here in the middle. And there is quite a bit of kick up in the palette, but um, let's just see how, how it's going to perform. I do feel that um, it looks a little bit warmer though. It looks warmer on the skin, the color itself, than in the palette. So my whole plan of doing like a, a cold look above the crease and then the warmer shades on the on the lid, it's probably not going to be what I thought. <laughs> but it's okay. Like I said, we're gonna go with the flow and and see how it all comes together. I'm gonna go in again with the first shade, the lighter shade here, uh, again with the same brush and it's very very fluffy so that always helps me to blend it out um, very smoothly. Anyway I'm going to go above the edge of those two shades 
and just again dab this this other shade the first shade on a little bit so we don't lose it because I did quite a bit of blending um, those two shades together so I just want them to still be visible so we don't yeah like I said so we don't lose that first shade completely and as well on the other side now I know that I'm very very late to the party reviewing or doing a first impression video on this on this palette. It's like this palette came out I don't know two three months ago, and uh, but that's you know my channel is just like that because even if I order something on pre-order till I get it it's like three months later, and um, if you need like a review or something early on then then it's not going to be here just because of where I live and everything takes so much time to get here. Um, well, but it looks nice. I really, I really have to say that even the gradient between the warmer uh, purple and the colder purple in the same lid space is really, really nice. Next, I'm taking a bit more uh, defined crease brush that is a little bit more domed and I'm going to dip into this shade, which is the darkest here in that row, and I'm going to apply that like very much into the crease. I might even have to switch to an even smaller brush, but we shall see, to like really deepen up the crease. I'm going to do that like in small circular motions. And then we see, <laughs> we see what we get. So right now it sort of flows everything together. For me, I don't know how it looks on camera, but for me it looks like it's all the same color now, just blended out. I don't know if that is what I wanted. No, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, but that's what it is and we shall, we shall live. Now I really wish there would be some shimmers in the palette, honestly, because if I want to do like a look with just one palette, I would love to have something like an orange shimmer or some like this, you know, something like this as a shimmer um, on the on the lid. Now that, that I would really really like that, and I think the whole look would really um, benefit from that. So. I don't know, should I go away from this thought of doing an all purple look? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should think out of the box. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just like that. You think you have a plan and you think it's a great plan. And then you, while you're in action, you feel like, eh. <laughs> Alright, so uh, maybe we have to make a change here. I think if I continue doing just purples and maybe going a little bit into the magenta and fuchsia and all of that, I think this is going to be terribly boring, almost. What do you think? Why is nobody here to tell me? <laughs> Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut my crease. like. Yeah, I'm going to cut my crease and then I'm going to come back and then till then I'm going to make up my mind what I'm going to do. Okay, I have cut my crease, sort of, I think that's good enough, and um, I still, I'm a little bit unsettled about, like, I really don't know where, where I want to go, because the typical thing that you would see now is that uh, we would have those, like, the sunset colors, this and this and this on the lid, and I sort of feel an aversion to this just because that's the, like, that's the thing that one would typically do now. Um, so I do feel like maybe maybe going in with this in the inner corner with the shade Riz and then maybe uh, into the red or something, you know? So maybe, maybe let's just try that, should we? Um, I'm going to take my uh, concealer brush, I've cleaned that a little bit, and it's very, very stiff and sharp. And I'm going to dig into this shade and um, just so I have a very, very precise application around the line here of the concealer. And I'm just going to try to press it down. Now there is a reason why I would personally, I would love to have a uh, shimmer here or a metallic or anything that is a little bit more alive. Um, I just don't like matte looks. <laughs> I think if I were to have a really, really poppy, nice, nice shimmer here, that would be so much nicer. 
but I think I think it can look nice too so never mind anything I say apparently <laughs> okay so let me just put that here on the other side as well and then we're going to do exactly the same thing using the next shade which is probably going to be a red okay I'm actually surprised that this is going to come together nicely <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think it would. Anyway, maybe it's really just because of the mats. Okay, um, don't get me wrong, I love mats. Okay, okay, so now should we go, where should we go? This one or this one? Hmm. Maybe this one, which is more like a warmer red, then this is a little bit more uh, cool tone. So I'm gonna go with this one here in the middle, which is called Anam, and I'm gonna use the same concealer brush because really for the crease line it is so important to be super precise so um, at least for up here I really recommend you taking a brush like this and then later on like for downwards if you feel uncomfortable using a brush like this for eyeshadow application then you can always switch it up but um, I really do recommend for the precise work that you need to do here on that line to use a brush where you have super super control yes yes girl this is gonna be good okay Leora is starting to get excited and starting to feel the look that's a good thing sometimes it takes me a while to start feeling the look but this <laughs> it's getting there Okay, to finish off the wing, I think I want to go in with this shade here, Alia, which is significantly darker than the red shade, of course, and it also is sort of, again, a little bit leaning towards the cool, but not 100%. Um, so we, we shall see how this is gonna turn out. And again, I'm taking this very flat concealer brush, and I'm just gonna be very, very careful along that line. This really really takes a lot of time so uh, that's why I keep skipping filming and finish things off camera because this would really really take a lot of time if I would film the whole thing so this is how it looks so far and I think it is pretty awesome honestly and I think once there is an eyeliner and lashes and everything this is gonna be really 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 good uh, just one thing that I already want to say is when you are working with a where is it now with such a flat brush you might have to you might have to do that for the cut crease but then I would suggest to go in with a packing brush and a bit further away from that corner uh, from the from the borderline just pack on the pigment a little bit more because with a brush like this you can uh, really really work precisely but not like it's not good for packing on the pig the pigment the pig <laughs> Anyway, all right, so for the lower lash line, I was thinking um, to do a gradient between this one, the Sarah, and Santa. These, these two, this one and this one. Okay, so we're gonna start, let me just get a new brush, with the Sarah shade, and place it at the inner third. And then I'm going to finish up the, the lower lash line with the other shade, the Sana shade, towards the outer wing. Like this. And yet another brush. This is crazy. You know, I have started to... Oh, no, I dipped it in the, wrong, in the wrong shade. Now I need another brush. This is seriously turning into a bit of a work intensive thing here um, because I am actually I've started to wash my brushes every single day you know everything I'm using I'm washing because it just makes so much sense like more than I ever thought it would be so this is seriously let me just count this one two three four five six seven and that's just for eyeshadow it's not even the eyeliner brush and it's not even the face brushes for like you know crazy anyway but it really really helps to have clean brushes and not have to worry about transferring colors and stuff so I'm really really starting to like this considering that I have 
nothing to do today but cooking. I think this is quite quite spectacular for spending my day in the kitchen. Okay, what are we thinking? <laughs> Girls, I'm really starting to be super excited and do you know what? There is one total, total, big, 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 big benefit to having mats in your face. It, like, the, the wrinkles in your eyes show up so much less. Like, I do have uh, textured eyelids and they look flat. They look, they, there is nothing there. There are no, there's no texture there on my eyelids anymore now because I'm using the mats. So that is definitely something if you are suffering from from that, that you are already not like 20 or 16. <laughs> and um, that is really something that is super helpful. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go off camera and I'm going to apply eyeliner and uh, mascara and lashes, and then I'm gonna come back and show you the finished look. Okay, my lovelies, this is the finished look. And I think it turned out so, so well. I'm really, really loving it. And uh, yeah. So let's just zoom you out now. Let's let's just move the mirror for for first steps, and then um, I'm gonna zoom you out. If I manage to do that, yes, okay, like this. And uh, let's talk about what we did. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. This took so long. It's like these wings are like crazy. Anyway, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it that I can stand in the kitchen and look like this and my family sees me like this is absolutely insane anyway so uh, this is the palette we used obviously and I actually did use a lot of shades so I used all of these shades here except this one I used everything here in those top uh, bottom three rows three bottom rows and up here, what did I use? I use, used this one and this one. So we used quite a bit and I think um, we created a really, really lovely look. I'm really excited and I'm not even missing the shimmers anymore and that means a lot, like the, it never happens. Okay, as an inner corner highlight, I used my WOW Cosmetics highlighter. I used the pink shade right here and I used this shade on my uh, cheekbones. Then I did also, from Wow Cosmetics use uh, this blue it's hard to see uh, they don't have any numbers it's like a very very affordable local brand um, a very very blue eyeliner for my lower waterline I used the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll uh, mascara and for my lips and I'm not too happy about it but mm, whatever it doesn't matter um, I used this lipstick right here that is again from the new velvet collection from um, Essence. It's this lipstick. It just looks a little bit darker on my lips uh, because I used a brown lip liner because I thought I, it would just disappear into my skin if I don't use a lip liner. So that's what I did. The lip liner is from Jade. It's called uh, Chestnut and it's from the Everlasting collection. And is that it? Oh. Um, for blush, I used my uh, Saharan Plush palette from Juvia's Place and I did a mixture of these two, the middle ones that are shimmery. And besides that, I splattered myself all over with foundation. It's lovely, but you don't see that, so yay! <laughs> Anyway, uh, I love this look. My verdict on, on the palette, if anyone cares to hear it, um, the, the pigmentation is good. They are dry. And I always say that, I think I've said that in every video about uh, certified palettes, they are a little bit dry, which is not my top preference. I do prefer Juvia's Place and I do prefer Blush Tribe to that because it is not as dry and sort of in the middle between Blush Tribe and Certify I would place Pinky Rose Cosmetics which I also really really like but with all that being said they are all good. It's not like I'm saying Certify is less or, or whatever. It's just different you know and uh, but you know what Every, everything that you can use to create a look like this is amazing. So I really have no complaints. All of those shadows performed really, really well. And I super, super enjoyed it. And for me, this is what it boils down to. And you know what? The struggle I had there in the beginning with, you know, being doubtful about the look, that was really just because I was in my head thinking purple, 
purple, purple. And the second I got out of it and allowed myself to be different and to just go with the flow of what I was feeling, but not letting myself go there, you know what I mean? The second I let myself go there, it was all good. Anyway, um, if you just heard a murmur, that is probably my stomach growling because uh, my my microphone is right there and my t I'm so hungry to eat breakfast. So anyway, that was that. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's just check the time. It is now 6.15 in the morning. I spent so much time to doing that, to do this, but that's fine. And you're going to probably see this video a week from now because tonight my last day of Passover starts. So I'm going to be cooking like at least four complete meals for my own big family and for guests because we're going to go from the last day of Passover right into Shabbat. So that's really, really intense. And um, yeah, so that's what I did today and I'm going to be cooking today. So yay. All right, uh, when you see this, life is back to normal. It's probably going to go up next Thursday and I'm going to be back into my makeup academy and everything. So up until the summer vacation, life is going to go a little bit back to normal. And I'm so grateful for that because this was really like the last three weeks were super, super hard. Anyway, I enjoyed this so much. I thank you for joining me here. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, then please give it a like. And other than that, I'm just going to see you here again for my my next video hopefully. I love you so much. Go ahead and sparkle. Hex and kisses. Bye.